Hi, Brent Tech here. Where Tech is made simple. Earlier this week, Windows 10 20H2 reached its end of life and end of servicing on the 9th of May, as I did post. And as I mentioned in that video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, Windows 10 version 21H2 will reach its end of life uh, next month in June 2023. Now, um, in this regard, um, Microsoft has recently announced over um, on their message center. And just to give you a quick heads up, um, if you are still running version 21H2 of Windows 10, if we head to the calendar, um, Microsoft says that on June the 13th, 2023, Home Pro, Pro Education and Pro for Workstations editions of Windows 10 version 21H2 will reach end of servicing. Now, as we can see, the 13th of June is the second Tuesday um, of the month. So that means it's Patch Tuesday. So this also means that this will be the last update available for these versions of Windows 10 version 21H2, as I've just mentioned. And after this date, according to Microsoft uh, devices running, um, these versions will no longer receive monthly security and preview updates and quality updates going forward so just take note of that that's the last day you'll receive any updates if you are still running version 21h2 now um, microsoft says to help keep you protected and productive if we head over to windows update what's going to happen is they are now going to start automatically pushing out the windows 10 version 22h2 feature update to your device um, uh, if it hasn't done so already and um, this means that um, Windows 10 consumer devices and non-managed business device, uh, devices um, will start automatically getting the feature updates. So what I do suggest is if you are seeing the uh, feature update as a prompt, um, as an optional update, rather just update your device sooner than later. Because what's going to happen is Microsoft is just going to start automatically updating your machine. So you've got a little, a little bit more control over when the update does take place. And obviously the update from Windows 10 21H2 to 22H2, um, it's a quick small update using an, an enablement package and really doesn't take that long to install. And you're not going to notice too much change between how things are between version 21H2 and version 22H2. It's really at the core and base exactly the same operating system and, and will also give you the um, exact same look and feel to some extent. Um, now, um, Microsoft says they are doing this because they recommend that you update your device to the latest version, obviously to get those security and quality updates. And um, you may also see a prompt to upgrade to Windows 11 if your device um, does meet the hardware and system requirements. So you will have the choice if you want to move on to Windows 11. But nonetheless, just letting you know that if it hasn't done so already, that Microsoft will be automatically updating your device to the latest version, as they say, to help keep you protected and productive. Now, um, something else to take note of is that Windows 10 version 22H2 will be the last version of Windows 10, as I have posted, and I'll leave a link down below to that video, which means there will be no more version upgrades for Windows 10. And as many of you may know, Windows 10 as a whole reaches its end of life and end of servicing and end of support on the 14th of October 2025 so after that date according to microsoft windows 10 will not be supported so you've got a couple of years left uh, to go if you are still running windows 10 and if we head to um the search quickly and we do a search for winver um about windows in case you're wondering and um, what version of windows 10 you are running um just do a search for winver about windows and yeah, you'll see the version. And as you can see, I'm currently running version 22H2. So that's just a quick heads up. Windows 10 21H2 um, on the 13th of June next month will reach its end of support and end of life. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.